I've shown you guys this truck in a few shorts and it's still here so I want to do a quick walk around on it. This is like an Overland F550. I cannot remember the company that does it but I'm sure when I get home I'll do some research and find out. But I love what they've done. This is a Lariat trim package but they have the off-road bumpers and the winch on the front end of the truck. The recovery hooks are finished in red and this is a bodyguard front brush guard too. Definitely overbuilt. It kind of reminds me of what AEV does with these. You have those rigid lights down below there. And you do have a receiver hitch up front. Light bar. And then check out the fender flares too. These are not the ones that come from the factory, so they're a little bit wider. And then check out your tires. So these are a Goodyear G275 MSA. 335 80 20. I will show you guys the actual size for this tire, but 6,395 pounds of capacity per tire, 80 psi. Yeah, they're pretty overbuilt. F rated tires, too. But these are your 20 inch wheels, and I like the design of them, too. Now, this truck does have a Carly suspension. And you guys can see liquid springs are on this truck too. So you can see those uh, end links there. Pretty overbuilt suspension. I've heard Carly's probably one of the best ones on the market too. But yeah, that fender flare is beefy. And this does have the power steps down below. And then out back, check out the suspension for this setup here too. All of this looks to be upgraded. All your hardware. And then liquid springs. Looks like it all runs through air. And then you have your ARB air compressor right there on the inside of the framing. I'm pretty sure the truck can get a bed on it too. I'm not sure what they're doing here at the dealership. This is at Larry H. Miller. Out back they do have a winch too. So you have winches front and rear. I've never tested out liquid springs before, but I did a video on a Ram 5500 that basically had the Kelderman and I thought that it was probably one of the best suspensions money can buy. I mean the $10,000 plus that you have to spend for it is probably worth every penny. So yeah, this is definitely air ride. I'm not sure if this one can lift or lower like the Kelderman could. But yeah, the Kelderman could lift and lower on the front and rear. But yeah, overall, really nice setup. And then here's a, another look at these running boards. Looks like you have rock rails right here to kind of protect these because these are pretty overbuilt too. But yeah, let's go ahead and check out online if I can find who builds these. And then I'll pretty much end the video. Elevation Off Grid is the company. I have heard of them before in the past. I just couldn't remember the name. But you guys can see here, they dubbed this the world's only F550 pickup truck. The bed's already on there. has a really nice design. Now, I know most guys are going to probably say like it's dumb to convert a dually into a single. And I disagree. I think most guys like the stance of the single rear wheels and I love the way the truck looks. With the tire capacity, it's worth it to me. I think if you're still towing a heavy trailer, this truck is perfect and you don't really lose that much on payload. So let's go ahead and look at the Ram first. The only cool thing about the Ram is you can get the limited trim package. The only negative is you have that ugly bed. I hope Ram does a new bed for this truck here because this is the only thing that would keep me from wanting to buy the Ram, is this bed. I wish you could fit the Ford bed on the Ram truck, that'd be kind of cool. But nevertheless, when you go back over to the Ford, 9,608 pounds of payloads with their advertising, depending on how you spec out the truck. Now let's go back really quick, I wanna show you guys the peak. So this is the base level for the super single, as I call it, and here's some of the features that you get so you don't get as much features you don't have any of the lighting that you'll get with the black series so let's go back really quickly and show you everything you get here 
and i would say that this is a truck i would probably go with because they give you the full liquid spring smart suspension right there the bed assembly eight foot worn winch is right there you have the amp power steps a few other things here and here's all the lighting that they do too so they give you a lot of nice features on this truck you get the 20 inch wheels and the way they spec out the Ford truck is pretty much the same so they loaded up a lariat 16 inch cab to axle and it has a heated ventilated seats 40 gallon tank now i'm not sure if they're restricted with the bed uh to not go with the extra tank that ford gives you so that's something that you probably would have to ask them now i'm pretty sure you guys would like to know the pricing on this truck right so right here it shows that the black edition f550 is 184.9 and the peak is 164.9 so it's a twenty thousand dollar swing i'm not sure when this uh actually yeah right here july 17 2023 pricing could change from the time that they wrote this article here on this company but 184 9 it's a lot of money guys i'm not even gonna lie to you i think that if you want a very exclusive truck and you want something that you are not gonna see ever <laughs> then sure go for it but I, I think that most of this is labor and i know that because they're the only manufacturer doing this upfit that's probably why you're going to pay a little bit more money. But if you did it on your own, you probably could save some money. But like I said, I think that the way they set up the liquid springs, that's a pretty big expense. And obviously getting the bed and having it all done up, that's what you're paying for there. So is it worth it? Probably not to most guys, but I think that if you wanted a really nice exclusive truck on the road, this truck has a nice presence and you don't lose payload and it still can tow 30,000 pounds. And as you guys saw in the video, the tires had over 6,000 pounds of capacity per tire. So you're not really losing any of the capacity if you do plan on towing a trailer with a five or 6,000 pound pin weight. But I hope you guys liked the video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. See you guys soon.